All right. Um, this is an, a brief update on Christopher Vito Jeswaldi, a pedophile. Uh, he has announced that his shitty comic book that we've already made fun of, um, and I'm sure won't be too different from the leaked transcript says. Uh, here is the thing about updates. I would post them all the time. There's always new and exciting things to share. However, I don't want to blow up people's inboxes with emails. If I was a smart man, I would fix super killer website and post things to the blog page. But I am not a smart man. Oh, Vito, that's really interesting. Do you know that you're in business with somebody named Dax Herrera, a.k.a. Juju, Juju the Cow, a man who gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow? Did you know that he does WordPress blogs as a profession? Like, he's a professional WordPress blog setter-upper for small businesses and, and prostitutes? You know that if he actually gave a fuck about you... He could fix your WordPress blog probably in 30 seconds because that's what he's been doing for the last 20 fucking years. It's like a job. Did you know that? Because I knew that. Interesting if you didn't know that. Uh, he continues. Regardless, I want to say that I'm very pleased with how things are going. My team asserts me we are on track and have a digital copy of the book ready to mail out before the end of the month. I do want to clarify. So this is only the digital copy. The art is done. They're going to put it into a PDF and send it to people. And they're not even printing it. And he promised it to be printed like in 2022. I'm going to say like December 2022. And he's pushed that back like an entire year at this point. Um, I also want to say that the number of announcements I'm holding on to for the time being. I'm looking into some options for how to reward you all for your continued patience. And I'm hoping that it will hit. I have hit upon a very exciting option. I hate to be cryptic. And I'm still running the numbers to see exactly what is feasible. All I can say, I'm not one of those guys that treats crowdfunding like a piggy bank. I'm an ever-devoted comic book slave. I'm a sl I'm a myth I'm a myth of slave. I'm a myth of comic book slave. And I'm working very hard to do it right by you all. And if I do decide to cut and run to Mexico with super killer money, I promise to at least send you all a thank you card. Let's get her done. Hashtag super killer forever. Um, so paragraph one, I'm a fucking retard and I don't know how to run a business. And my friend Dax Herrera, aka Juju the Cow, a man who gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow, doesn't give enough of shit about me and my, my endeavors to actually help me in a way that matters. Um, paragraph number two, I promise I'm still working on this. I'm going to give you half of what you paid for over a year ago. Um, paragraph three, I definitely am super working on this. Um... Paragraph four, there's stuff I want to talk about, but I'm not going to do that for whatever reason. And paragraph five, I don't use this as a piggy bank money. But as someone immediately points out, um, after this, oh, it's on the next page. Oh, no, this one. Latest update from the pedophile. Funny part is how he's not treating the crowdfund like a piggy bank when he's literally put the super killer money into a money market account to accrue interest because he's not using the money to fulfill the project. So he is quite literally using the money to generate interest so he can spend that because he's not actually doing anything to complete the comic. You may also look at this and have noticed that's really bad looking. Um, that mouth uh, looks terrible. The bridge of his nose aligns perfectly with like a single tooth, like he has an odd number of teeth. Why does he have like a single huge buck tooth in front of it? And then somebody on the next page uh, solved the issue and doubled up the, the teeth, and this genuinely seems to be what the guy slapped on. It kind of reminds me of another comic book artist called uh, Buckley, who did the Control-Alt-Delete comics and would just, like, paste the mouths that he had drawn, like, eight years ago onto the faces so that people would look like they're talking and they would always have the same face. I feel like this guy, this artist that he's hired, has, like, a palette of really like detailed complicated because look i mean look at like how detailed the actual drawing is around it and then look at the detail in the mouth and it's like the mouth seems like it's drawn by like a vorophile who has like a intense interest in like uh, the quality of a mouth and it would make sense if it's just like a sticker that he has in, like a little sticker drawer on his uh his like uh, adobe illustrator and he just drags and drops the mouth onto the comic book that's what that looks like to me. And if that's the, um, look, I know that artists have to pump out 
product and they have to meet demand in a timely fat manner. And chances are that that works really well for most customers. Um, Vito the Pito, Christopher Vito Giswaldi, the uh, co-host of The Dick Show with, not The Dick Show, the other one, the shitty one. Um, the shittier one, I should say, with uh, Dax Herrera, a.k.a. Juju the Cow, a man who gets fucked in the asshole dressed as a cow. Um, his whole shtick is that the 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 black man comics, Isom, are like, they use assets and they don't have all original art. It's kind of embarrassing that the artist that you hired, and it's really embarrassing that the image that you put out in your update to show people that you're actually working on your comic is this one that has like an obvious mistake with how they slapped and distorted the sticker to try and meet like the angle of the mouth? It's really embarrassing if you like pride yourself on your comics and you call yourself like a little silly comic book slave that worked really hard all the time and you really care about like your comic and shit and you would never ever use recycled assets like that evil Eric July black man did. And then you just do that and you do a really sloppy, shitty job. And don't you don't even like, okay, the guy made a mistake, sure, whatever. He's doesn't give a fuck about your shitty comic. Uh, he's getting paid by a pedophile. He just wants to get done with it. Um, but you should notice that since you're the little, the little comic book slave, the the totally the myth of comic book slave working really hard. You should have noticed that before you put that update out. And you're like, okay, you can't put out any, any, any actual information, and you just have like a single still image. How about making sure that the single still image doesn't have like a very obvious deformity, right? I don't know. Just what what comes to mind when I think about this. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.